WNBA betting, Caitlin Clark is already one of the 2024 MVP favorites before her rookie year. Caitlin Clark is already a WNBA MVP favorite. Less than two weeks after she was taken number one in the 2024 WNBA draft by the Indiana Fever, Clark is the number four favorite at BetMGM to win the 2024 MVP award. The former Iowa star is plus 1,200 to be named MVP in her first professional season. In reality, Clark's odds are likely higher than that. While she's the runaway favorite for Rookie of the Year for good reason, it's hard to envision her winning the MVP award in her rookie season. There will be an adjustment for college basketball's all-time leading scorer as she hits the pros. It's very possible, and even likely, that she'll have a very good season right away. But an immediate MVP is probably too much to ask. Only Candace Parker, 2008, has won the MVP award as a rookie. Two of the players ahead of Clark in the MVP race have staggeringly low odds to win the award. Las Vegas Aces star A.J.A. Wilson is the favorite at plus 175, and the New York Liberty's Brianna Stewart is at plus 500. The number three favorite is Alyssa Thomas of the Connecticut Sun at plus 1,100. Wilson is searching for her third MVP award in the last five seasons. Wilson was named MVP in 2020 and 2022 and finished third in the voting in 2023. She averaged a career-high 22.8 points per game in 2023 and also grabbed 9.5 rebounds per game while shooting 56% from the field. Wilson and the Aces went on to win the WNBA title last summer over Stewart and the Liberty. Stewart won the MVP award in 2023 and is also looking for her third award. Stewart averaged 23 points per game and also had over 9 boards per contest in her first season with the Liberty after 6 seasons with the Seattle Storm. Thomas is a 4-time All-Star who hasn't yet won an MVP award. She finished 2nd in the voting a season ago and also was 2nd in the league's Defensive Player of the Year voting. She averaged 15.5 points and nearly 10 rebounds per game. Las Vegas Aces FAJA Wilson plus 175. New York Liberty F. Brianna Stewart, plus 500. Connecticut Sun F. Alyssa Thomas, plus 1,100. Indiana Fever G. Caitlin Clark, plus 1,200. Seattle Storm G. Jewel Lloyd, plus 1,600. New York Liberty G. Sabrina Ionescu, plus 1,600. Phoenix Mercury F. Brittany Griner, plus 1,600. Las Vegas Aces G. Kelsey Plum, plus 2,000. Dallas Wings G. Eric Ogunbowl, plus 2,000. Dallas Wings F. Satusa Valley, plus 2,500. Caitlin Clark is set to make $78,000 salary as the WNBA's number one overall pick, which is about 137 times less than the NBA's number one overall pick who will earn $10.5 million. CNN's Christine Brennan says the disparity is the product of capitalism, but things will get better for WNBA players. Caitlin Clark is reportedly set to wear her own signature Nike sneaker in the WNBA. The justices are likely to reject the claim of absolute immunity. But even if they do, Trump may already have won by delaying his election interference trial. Detroit, AP, the NFL draft has taken the show on the road for a decade, giving cities around the country a chance to be in the spotlight. Detroit is on the clock. The Motor City, which was once one of the nation's largest and most powerful cities, has bounced back from filing for bankruptcy in 2013. Fans driving and flying into town from the league's other 31 cities will see signs of progress from the symbolic to the significant. Detroit is spelled out, each letter standing 10 feet off an emba. A man shot and killed his estranged girlfriend days after a Mississippi Coast judge changed the location of where to exchange their children. Lawyers will cite a civil case involving President Richard Nixon during U.S. Supreme Court arguments about whether former President Donald Trump is immune from prosecution for actions taken while in office. Boston, AP, Austin Matthews scored on a breakaway to snap a third-period tie with eight minutes left, 
and the Toronto Maple Leafs beat the Boston Bruins 3-2 on Monday night to not their first round playoff series at one game apiece. Ilya Samsonov stopped 27 shots for Toronto, which snapped an eight-game losing streak against Boston over 534 days dating to November 2022. Max Domi and John Tavares also scored for the Maple Leafs, who haven't beaten the Bruins in a playoff series since 1959. More Dozens of volunteers used flags to stage a flash mob in Prague on Sunday to perform the invasion of Ukraine by Russia and to suggest a possible solution through a so-called Estonian plan. The Estonian plan stresses that Western countries can help Ukraine overcome Russia with minimal effort if they come together. Essentially, it believes that if Western countries commit to supporting Ukraine for at least 0.25% of GDP for four years, Ukraine should be able to defeat Russia. AP video by Stanislav Hodna, here's how NBA reacted to Jamal Murray's game winner against the Lakers. Tom Brady presented Novak with the Sportsman of the Year award, marking the Serbian's fifth time receiving the honor. The Hall of Fame goalie turned head coach said he was waiting for an offensive zone face-off to call a timeout and settle his team down late in the third. He never got the chance. An Ottawa man who was shot dead Friday night is being remembered by his colleagues as a devoted badminton coach who'd been nationally recognized for his training efforts. Kevin Willington, 53, was killed at a house in Manor Park in what police consider to be a targeted killing. I am still processing the shock, said fellow badminton coach Janet Hugley in an email to CBC on the weekend. Emergency crews were called to the area just north of the Beechwood Cemetery in central Ottawa around 9.20 p.m. on. Boston Sheldon Keefe's team was in a similar position 12 months ago. The Maple Leafs dropped their playoff opener to the Tampa Bay Lightning before roaring back to capture the original six franchises' first series in nearly two decades. A weight was finally lifted. The fan base rejoiced, if only briefly. Despite suffering a 5-1 loss in Boston to open this spring Stanley Cup tournament, Toronto still at least in some ways finds itself in a slightly better spot compared to last year's Kurt. Denver, AP, Jamal Murray sank a 15-foot step-back jumper at the buzzer and the Denver Nuggets wiped out a 20-point second-half deficit to stun the Los Angeles Lakers 101-99 Monday night and take a 2-0 lead in their Western Conference playoff series. Murray's fadeaway, falling down game winner provided the Nuggets with their first lead since 5-3 in the opening minutes and gave the reigning NBA champions their 10th consecutive win over the Lakers. The series shifts to Los Angeles for Game 3 Thursday. Reed's deal reportedly runs through 2029 and makes him the highest paid coach in the NFL. The New York Jets traded quarterback Zach Wilson to the Denver Broncos on Monday, a person familiar with the deal told. The Jets are sending Wilson and a seventh round pick in this week's NFL draft to the Broncos for a sixth rounder, the person said. The person spoke to the AP on condition of anonymity because the teams haven't announced the deal. NFL Network first reported the trade in which the Jets are parting ways with Wilson, the number two overall pick in the 2021 draft, AF. The NBA on Sunday announced finalists for individual awards which will be unveiled later this year. Will Denver's Nikola Jokic win his third MVP?